Now let's start with the very latest on that Pfizer vaccine. As we said, at any minute, the FDA could grant emergency use of the vaccine after a key independent vaccine committee gave it the green light. It was just late yesterday. So the vote was 17 to 4. There was one abstention. The advisory group concluded that the shot appears safe and effective against the coronavirus in people 16 and older. Pfizer and its German partner BioNTech, which began working on this vaccine now 11 months ago, says its vaccine is safe and 95% effective after two doses. We performed an interim analysis at 94 cases in individuals without prior infection and observed efficacy of 95.7%. Now, with rare exceptions, the FDA follows the advice of its advisory panels. Again, that authorization could come anytime now, paving the way for millions of doses of this vaccine to be shipped across our country. So, Dr. Cardi, let's talk about the impact this first COVID vaccine will have on slowing this pandemic. So, this is very exciting. Uh, this is very unique times that the FDA panel has advised the FDA to approve it. And as you said, as soon as they approve it, action goes. It's ready to be distributed. The operation warp speed is underway and we have our internal plans ready to go to uh, start distributing the vaccine to the highest priority individuals. And that is long-term care residents and healthcare workers. So those are the two groups that are gonna pre uh, begin to receive vaccines as early as this Monday, possibly even before, depending on when we get this information and the vaccines arrive. All right, let's talk, I would say, after efficacy, the second most important question surrounding this COVID-19 vaccine is, will people take it? So we have to trust the system. The FDA has a process for many vaccines to be studied, phase one, phase two, phase three. Pfizer BioNTech product, uh, the vaccine has gone through these phases and the data is out there. But this is an emergency use authorization. The risk of the disease in the population that they're going to be targeting the vaccine is high. So we're going to begin distributing it. Now, four members of this panel voted no on this. So, the, you know, does that raise a red flag for the public if, if somebody's saying, you know, maybe not so fast? It's my understanding from what I have seen available uh, is that the four that uh, did not vote in favor were really in the uh, pediatric expertise. So the data on the younger population is not there to provide the support for a younger population right now. And again, this is a mute emergency use authorization. It is not a full license by the FDA. That usually comes after several months of further data collection. 